All right, guys, so your goal is to make several little clips that you can export out to Premiere. And I think the first thing you should do is create a folder in your G drive, and I'm gonna do it in my D drive for now. And, you know, just right click, new, call it game trailer, and maybe your name, okay? Because we often make mistakes and we're saving it on the wrong person's drive. And what I want to do is make several little clips. And ex as soon as I'm done a clip, I export it. Okay. And so I'm going to do one right away. So I'm going to zoom out. This is my world. Okay. Everybody has their own world. A, normally when you start a cinematic shot, you always start from far out. This is what's called an establishing shot. Okay. We already talked about this, but that's the best place to start. So maybe from high up or from far away. You know, and that way people kind of, oh, this is what this is. It's like an island in the middle of the ocean or something, okay? So let's start with that. So the first thing I want to do, and we already learned how to do this, we're going to make an animation called a level sequence. And I'm going to call it take one or scene one or something like that. And I'm going to double click and open it. So there's nothing in this right now. Now, to keep things simple, like I said, all your shots of you taking the environment just do a scene, a level sequence. Now, whenever we, I'll show one with an animation, it gets a little more complicated. And if it's too complicated, and for those of you who are having a hard time getting caught up, then use Screencast-O-Matic. But I would prefer you to try to use this as much as possible. So the first thing I want to do is create a camera. And you create the camera from down here. It's really important that you not go and place actor, but you do it from down here. Because this means it belongs to this scene. And if I make another scene, the camera disappears. So, the, so when I click on it, right away I see a camera pop up. And for now, we're going to do one camera at a time and keep it simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. And you see where it says focus settings? Really important that you change this to disable. Because it will be out of focus. Because this actually works like a real camera. And for now, since we're just beginning, we want to keep it extremely simple. So I want to start, but before I film, let's say I'm going to place my camera. And you see that since I'm in, if I click on this camera down here, see if I, I unclick it, it's like this. But if I click on it, it's all, you see this pilot active thing shows up. What that means is at wherever I point this is what it's filming. Okay. And so what I want to do now is I'm really happy with this. So I'm going to go down where it says transform and just press the X thing. So a keyframe. We've already learned how to do keyframes. So I want to move forward. And what I'm going to do is so auto keyframing is enabled. I will click on this little key. So that means that if I move here and I just make a mistake and turn it like that, well, it remembers. You understand? And if I'm like, okay, well, that was a mistake, so I'm going to do this, I delete it. And in fact, what I want to do here is move up. So using the same tricks, and make sure you slow down your camera here, okay, to like three or something, so you don't move too fast, and that's really too slow, just because this is a far shot. So I'll go the side, move up and down. So I'm going to go like this, and now I'm going to move forward. And the second I stop is when it's going to create the keyframe. So now it created the keyframe. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to make another one. I'm zooming. I decided I'm zooming on my castle for some reason. Okay, like you can choose something like that in your level. And I'm going to go like this. And I, I'm going to tell you right now, I know this is going to be too fast and I need to fix it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So then I'm like, okay, let's pretend that's my first scene and I'm happy. All right. So I'm going to go here, press the space bar. Well, you know, that's way fast, I find. So one of the things I'm going to show you to do is right click here, where it says 30 frames per second. I think it's here. And make sure you change the uh, show time as seconds, okay? Because it's normally in frames. And for since we're beginners, it's just easier this way. So I only have five seconds. So I'm going to change this to 11. Let's pretend. But, sir, nothing has happened. Well, did you notice this actually shrank? So what I can do is go like this. 
And what I'm going to do is, let's say I think I need eight seconds. Even though this part is there, it won't show up. As long. The red line is the really important one. And the other thing you need to absolutely fix is you have to drag this beyond the red line. That's really important. So it didn't do that automatically. But so how am I going to make this shorter or, or go slower? Well, I don't need to redo the keyframes. I can just drag it, go like this, drag it, go like this. And I'm just guesstimating here. And now I'm going to go again. And let's go from the beginning. You can also go here and it'll go to the beginning. Press the space bar. See, that's kind of a nicer, you know, going in. And you can still make it slower if you wanted to. Okay, so that's my first scene. I'm done. So I'm going to export this right now. So I'm going to go. Now this is important. Double check that on your computer, it should just have uh, one type of movie sequencer. So the one, you want this one to pop up. If something else pops up, just call me over. You want it to say AVI. And choose, I'm going to recommend 1080p. Okay. And the other thing that's really important is go find that folder you made at the beginning. So I said, I, what, what, what the heck did I call it again? Anybody remember? Um, oh, there you go. You guys are paying attention. Awesome. Thank you. So I select that one. Then I click Capture Movie. And, you know, I'm going to show you something before I click uh, Save. Well, you know what? Let's do it anyways. But... Uh, I'm going to pause the video here for a second. It takes like a So one thing I forgot to mention is, well, since we only have one camera, it's pretty simple. So right here is what the actual output shot is. But you no, know, I could add two cameras. And I'll show you how to do that in a second, maybe with the next scene. Okay. And let's go have a look at our video, whatever we created. It was on the D drive. And, you know, this is something you might want to fix. Every time it outputs it, it just calls it third person. So go rename first, first or something. You know, like, you know it's the first one. Then double check. Make sure you double check it. Don't just assume it worked. Like, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy. It's extremely high quality image compared to Screencast-O-Matic. Okay? So let's, so I'm going to go and say that that is 